welcome you all today we are going to talk about weak and strong forms weak and strong forms um is the topic from english go 203 phonetics and english phonology this is our lecture 15th we already have conducted 14 lecture in this our lecture series program and this time we are going to talk about weak forms such as the word that so in that we say this is a strong form of that this ah uh, uh, pronunciation or phoneme used in this uh, that word and when we are say that that is the weak form and this a uh, sound or phoneme is used in this that so this is the strong form of that and this is the weak form that so this is a weak and a strong forms example so without a further go let's talk about its uh, definition we will consider certain well-known English words that can be pronounced in two different ways. These are called strong forms and weak forms. So mostly when we are talking about pronunciations, we talk about these two uh, forms of words or pronunciations of words that we call strong forms and weak forms. For instance, the word that, the strong form, there we use phoneme a, and in the weak form we use a. Uh, that so this is the difference of uh, the strong form and weak forms here we are going to use it in sentences i like that so this the way of using this that is actually here the strong form of that and when we say i hope that she will so this is i hope that she will this is the weak form of the word that so this is our in a, a very short definition of weak or strong forms we use in our connected speech are mostly the native speakers they use weak forms in their connected speech or in their speech so there are roughly 40 such words in english there are so many examples you may find in the book uh, phonetics and english phonology written by peter roach here to the point short uh, we are going to talk about a few examples from that book why is it important to learn how weak forms are used? So this is the question that why we have been uh, talking about weak forms. So there are two main reasons. Number one reason. First, most native speakers of English find an all strong form pronunciation unnatural. So native speakers, they consider strong forms of words unnatural. They think that weak forms are actually uh, are to be used in the connected speech second and more importantly speakers who are not familiar with the use of uh, weak forms are likely to have difficulty understanding speakers who do use weak forms since practically all native speakers of british english use them learners of the language need to learn about these weak forms to help them to understand uh, what they hear so another reason is those who are not the native speakers they must understand about weak forms because most of the native speakers they use. Because the native speakers they use, we must, uh, for the sake of understanding, comprehension, we must know about the weak forms. So this is another reason of learning weak forms. Here, um, weak and contracted forms. So could we say uh, the contracted forms are the weak forms? Here is what we are going to talk about we must distinguish between weak forms and contracted forms so there is difference according to peter roach book certain english words are shortened so severely usually to a single phoneme and so consistently that they are represented differently in informal writing so when we say uh, the weak forms and contracted forms they are certainly having differences it is in contracted forms, we say it's, and we have, so we say we have, as do not, so we say don't. So these are actually the contracted forms. So students, uh, contracted forms are actually the informal um, way of speaking, or informal way of uh, writing, and sometimes they are considered as weak forms, but they are differentiated from the weak forms and they are considered individually as contracted forms. Function words, mostly function words are considered are uh, to be used as weak forms in connected speech by the native speakers. Almost all the words uh, which have both a strong and weak form 
belong to a category that may be called function words. So what are function words? Words that do not have dictionary meaning. So what are those function words? It is here. These function words are words such as auxiliary verbs, uh, prepositions, conjunctions, ADC, all of which are in certain circumstances pronounced in their strong forms, but which are more frequently pronounced in their weak forms. So there are certainly uh, strong forms of uh, these function words. Function words are auxiliary verbs like is, am, are, conjunctions like and, um, and, uh, uh, but because so prepositions like in on at so these words are the function words and these uh, words have a strong forms but mostly these words uh, are to be uh, spoken by the native speakers as weak forms here um, strong forms what are strong forms there are some fairly simple rules we can say that strong forms our form is used in the following cases. For many weak forms, words, when they occur at the end of a sentence, the word of has the weak form as of in following sentence. As we use, I'm fond of chips. I'm fond of chips. So this is actually the weak form of of. of. I'm fond of chips. Of. So this is the weak form. But... However, when it comes at the end of the sentence, as in the following example, it has a strong form. For example, chips are what I am fond of. So chips are what I am fond of. So here we have used the strong form of the word of, right? So here we have used the phoneme of. Oh. And here we have used the phoneme a, uh, a uh, and o. Uh. So o uh, as we have used. And mostly when this word of comes at the end of the sentence, we use the uh, strong form. So what is the rule of using strong forms of the words? Mostly when words comes uh, are come at the end of the sentence. When they are used between the words or into the sentence, we mostly use weak forms as of. Hopefully this is clear for you. Here we are going to talk about uh, common weak forms. So here it is the, the word the, weak form as here if you look at this sentence there, before consonants, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. And when we are using this before vowel as the, wait for the end. But these are actually used, these uh, the are the, these are actually the short forms of the word the, right? So shut the door, shut the door. So we don't say the door, we say shut the door, okay? Or with the end. So these are actually the weak forms of these words. Here are more examples like the words A and N. And right now, students, look at these words. These are the function words. And mostly function words, they have weak forms. The words A or N. So uh, they have a uh, uh, before consonants. Read a book. Read a book. So this is the weak form of a. Uh, uh. And here is N. Before vowel, before vowels like apple is the word begins with uh, a vowel sound, and this n comes before uh, this word apple. So we say eat an apple, eat an apple. So n here is used as weak form of n. So these are the common uh, weak form of words, and there are so many other examples, and mostly function words they have a weak forms uh, of every word or phony. Hopefully this would have been very helpful for all of you. Thank you very much. Love face.